Emerson Park. And Back to the Premier. When you forgot to uh, swear in as Minister of Agriculture and Food, your basic instinct was a second swearing in. Your basic instinct was to keep the power plant documents secret. And now we see you keeping secret your backroom deal with OSSTF. You have been Premier for less than two weeks, and already we have three examples of her keeping secrets from the people of Ontario. Shameful. So will you stand up today and tell Ontario taxpayers, parents and their students how much you've decided to hand over to the teachers' union as part of a backroom deal that you're not prepared to talk about. We want to know. Please let us know. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. There is no new money. There is no new money as part of the conversations with the teacher leadership, Mr. Speaker. I've been clear about that. What I have said, Mr. Speaker, is that we need a new process going forward, and that is exactly what's being talked about. How do we have a a collective bargaining process in place, Mr. Speaker, that recognizes the role of the provincial government as the funder of the publicly funded education system, and how do we have a local process in place, Mr. Speaker? None of the conversations at the table have anything to do with new money. This Premier is either incredibly naive or she thinks the people of this province are naive. No one believes you, Speaker. Look, the government says it wants to return things to the way it was. So, this is what Ontario parents and students hear, that we're either going to go back to strikes or you're going to hand over more money to the unions. Which is it? We would like to know. We already know that OSSTF is claiming victory for having the resignation of Dalton McGuinty. We know OSSTF is claiming victory for the NDP by-election win, and we know that OSSTF is taking claim and credit for the demotion of the former Minister of Education. What more are we going to find out in secret leaked confidential memos from OSSTF, or can you just tell us right here, in this Question. chamber, with the media watching, the public's eyes are on you, Premier, why don't you tell the truth? <laughs> Premier. Mr. Speaker, you know what this conversation is about is about a grade 11 student who wants to play volleyball. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. It's about a grade 10 student who wants to be part of an orchestra. Exactly. It's about a teacher or a member of the support staff who it's wants to so coach so track. And Mr. Speaker, it should not be about adults who are having problems having a, a good, respectful relationship. So what I want, Mr. Speaker, is I want that respectful relationship. I want that conversation, which is why, after I was selected leader, I reached out to the leadership of the federations and I said, let's get back to the conversation. Let's go back to having a respectful dialogue. That's what we've done, Mr. Speaker. It is almost as though the member opposite would rather have conflict. It's almost as though Answer. the member opposite does not want any kind of respectful conversation with the employees of this province, Thank you. Mr. Speaker. If the Premier wants to talk about volleyball, I'll tell her her, her uh, serve didn't hit the, it didn't clear the net. I mean, that was, uh, that, that, it's incredibly naive, Speaker, for her to tell Ontario families that there is no secret deal when we know that there is one. She's had uh, secret meetings with the union. They all of a sudden, after declaring victory on destroying her party, have now come out, give her $10,000, and we're to expect that they're getting nothing in return? That's a joke. She, and Ontario students deserve better. This point, Premier is not interested in doing anything for Ontario students. We already know Ken Coran has said many of his teachers will not go back to extracurriculers. We know it's too early for you to be patting yourself on the back. We already know that some of these students are going out to get extracurricular activities. So I ask you again, are you prepared to come clean with Ontario families and tell us what's in store? Is it more money? Are you stripping EQAO? Are you going to make sure that your union buddies get big payouts in a couple of years from now? We want details, Premier, and I think you can give them to me. Well, Mr. Speaker, I'm not tall, but I'm right at the net, and that ball's going right back. Because, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, this is honestly about making 
sure that we have a good working relationship with the teachers and the support staff of this province, all of them, Mr. Speaker. I'm here in this legislature because I worked hard on publicly funded education in the late 90s, Mr. Speaker, when the relationship was in tatters. And I believe that schools work better, that kids learn better when there's a working relationship, a constructive relationship between government, school boards, the teachers, Answer. the support staff. That's why I that's why I called the leadership, Mr. Speaker. That's why we've been having a respectful discussion. There's no more money. There is a conversation that is going to restore extracurriculars in the province.